Fort McMurray sits at the confluence of two rivers, Athabasca and Clearwater. And in the spring, as the ice on these two rivers begins to break up, it can quite literally dam up these rivers and cause a flood. Ice jams often form in the, in the reach just downstream of Fort McMurray, so the water builds up behind it, sometimes flooding Fort McMurray, um, because the river geomorphology or shape changes there. So the river uh, really flattens out, which encourages sediment deposition, and this causes the river to be wider with much more, um, many more uh, sandbars and islands, and the, these things kind of all work together to um, encourage uh, ice jam formation there. Predicting ice jam floods is difficult, so Fort McMurray has extensive flood mitigation infrastructure in case flooding does occur. It's a combination of berms and walls and, um, you know, the raising of roads and, 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 and a variation of different things to bring the, the level around the lower town site and other areas that are susceptible to flood, bring them up to a level where it, it, it reduces the risk of flood and, and, and flood return events. Some of this infrastructure is built to fit seamlessly into the city's landscape. I'm walking on what's called a berm. It looks like a hill made of clay and soil, not far from the bank of Clearwater River. There is nothing obviously remarkable about it, and you wouldn't probably give it a second thought. But it is in fact man-made, and it's a part of Fort Max flood mitigation infrastructure called Reach 7. And this berm can withstand the water level rise of about 8 to 10 meters. So the trees behind me, the bank of the river could be underwater, but this berm should hold, and it won't be impacted by erosion in a significant way. The city also has anti-flood walls and other temporary flood protection infrastructure. The city had some serious floods in the past. In 2020, we had a 1 in 100 year flood and uh, we had significant impacts and had to evacuate uh, over 12,000 people. Uh, since then, significant efforts have been made. Uh, however, we continue to uh, ask people to prepare just in case the worst situation occurs. In terms of river breakup season, we start uh, getting ready for that in early March, where we reignite our relationships with the river forecasters and start to talk with uh, stakeholders and partners in the region about uh, what they're doing to prepare and how we can help. The construction of Fort McMurray's flood mitigation infrastructure is still in progress. The council approved a new build earlier this year, and in late November, construction crews were still putting finishing touches on the anti-flood wall that also serves as a walkway for residents. Dennis Cofton, CBC News, Fort McMurray.